if I were to ask you right now if you feel like you have a good handle on your organization's fixed assets, what do you immediately think about? For most, their mind goes directly to how they're depreciating their assets and ensuring tax compliance. But today, we're going to talk about another portion of your fixed asset management process, physical asset inventories. So let's go back to our original question. What else is there beyond depreciation I need to think about regarding my fixed asset management? We're going to start by talking about your data. You can have the best depreciation solution in the world, but it's only as good and accurate as the data that you put into it. This is the concept of garbage in, garbage out. If you feed bad data into your system, you can absolutely expect to get bad data out as a result. So why does this matter? For a number of reasons, the first of which is bad data. Bad data means bad reports, and bad reports mean bad strategic business decisions. Next, if you don't have accurate asset counts and values, you may be overpaying on taxes and property insurance. If you have bad asset counts, you may also find that you don't have a business critical asset on hand when it's needed. And if you don't know the value and condition of your existing assets, your budgets may be inadequate as you don't know what needs to be replaced soon. Finally, feeding bad data into your depreciation solution can lead to bad calculations and non-compliant tax entries. So how can we fight back against dirty data? Well, your Sage Fixed Asset solution has tools to help you win this battle. You can set up security profiles to control what asset information your different users can access and what they can do with it, customize fields and use entry masks and smart lists, which allow you to control the data entry process, removing the potential for human error and typos. You can even digitize and attach multiple documents and images to each asset, like invoices or warranty information. And finally, using Sage Fixed Assets tracking to begin performing physical inventories of your fixed assets. This will allow you to load your asset data onto a scanner, then go out into the field to ensure your information is accurate and update it if it isn't.